Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a video I've actually been looking forward to making for an extremely long time. As many people out there know, especially uh, people who live in areas like ours that historically have not had much in the way of broadband competition or choice, uh, Spectrum Cable, who used to be Time Warner and was formed through a merger of Spectrum and Charter, uh, I want to say almost a decade ago, has been our only internet provider option in this area for a long time. And when I say only, there have been other choices like Verizon DSL or a, a local startup company called Plexicom that offered fixed wireless access. And yes, those were options for internet service, but they weren't what I would define as competitive. The speeds were too slow, the reliability wasn't great, uh, just in general, uh, not true competition to what Spectrum offered with their wired network. Well now, Greenlight Fiber has moved into the area, and today uh, they have actually finished their network in my neighborhood. Well, actually they finished it like last week or so. But it's been an interesting story. They started construction back in August, uh, and earlier in the summer it announced that a investment firm had put $300 million into helping them expand their network and their business. So today I'm gonna to talk about green light networks. Should you upgrade uh, or switch your provider? And then I'm gonna go over some of the speed test results uh, and show you guys those results, uh, do them live here with you, and also give you my horrific experience trying to cancel uh, Spectrum service. One other thing I should mention real quick is it was super fun to watch the construction all summer. They used directional drilling rigs to run the conduit that the fiber is going to go through. Uh, and they actually ended up hitting, I think I heard of them hitting a gas line, a power line, and possibly a water line. Uh, so it was definitely interesting to watch. Um, just all the equipment going through the neighborhood and, and seeing the crews work on the, uh, the various aspects of the project. So I just thought I should mention that. So without it, uh, without further delay, let's start off by doing a good old fashioned internet speed test here for you guys. All right. So uh, I have mine set to connect to the Pentel data server in Palmerton, Pennsylvania, uh, because it always seems to be reliably fast for me. Uh, so. The other thing I should mention is that the Wi-Fi router is brand new. I got it from Sam's Club. It's a um, Linksys Hydra Pro, and uh, I'm going to be returning it because I'm not happy with the performance. Um, I feel like we're less than five feet away from the router, even though it is down one story. These numbers are not good. In fact, even being right next to the router, uh, the performance just isn't there. So I'm gonna return it and upgrade to a more expensive router to get better performance. But still, these results blow away my cable. 258 megabits per second on the upload and 18 millisecond ping, one millisecond jitter and no loss. 18 milliseconds for a ping time is unbelievably phenomenal and I do get similar results on my phone. The results are a little bit better standing right next to the router, but like I said, I'm not happy with the performance. It's not performing up to snuff uh, like I think it should be. So I'm just gonna try something different. But still, 258 on the upload is a dream. Uh, until recently, I couldn't fathom getting those speeds on the upload. So if you're stuck on cable, you're probably getting 10, 10 megabits per second or 20 megabits per second up. Even on their most expensive plan, which has a list price of $128 last time I knew or, or close to that, the upload caps out at about 35 guaranteed. So let's run a fast.com test. <coughs> Fast.com is testing your connection to Netflix servers, and it does perform a little bit better here. And that's the other thing too, is even on your internet speed tests, not every server, not every website, not every application you connect to is gonna perform the same speed wise. But again, these results are still blowing away my uh, spectrum connection. 240 on the up, 11 millisecond ping. I've seen the ping go down as low as three milliseconds when I'm connecting to uh, servers that are within Greenlight's network itself. Uh, loaded ping at 21 on Spectrum, that was much, much higher. So unbelievably good. 
Now I'm going to do a ping test for you guys. This is testing how quickly the data travels across the network. Um, this is testing it when it's not under load. So this is just an unloaded network. How fast can it carry the data from your computer through your router, through your provider's uh, modem, or in this case, ONT, uh, network interface device to the server you're trying to connect to. The minimum was 47, average of 50, max of 104, uh, medium 49. So these are still good results, but for whatever reason, this particular testing site is producing slightly higher results. Still really good though, uh, in my opinion. Now we're gonna do the uh, speed test. This is the same speed test provider, Okla. Uh, it's going to test the direct connection to Greenlight through their website. So uh, this is probably an HTML5 test. So for take it for what it's worth, it's it's on on a web interface uh, website testing it. So it's may not be 100% accurate, but we're pulling 389 on the down. And again, this is what I with what I consider to be a not performing router or not performing well router. Um, I am going to be trading out my current router, the one that I just mentioned. I'm going to be trading it out for a Netgear Nighthawk, uh, top of the line system. I'm not paying full price for it, but uh, that's the other thing I should mention. This uh, test is not, this video is not sponsored by Greenlight in any way, shape, or form. So now that I've shared some uh, tests with you, uh, let me tell you about my horrific, <laughs> horrific time canceling Spectrum. So basically, more or less, I went to Spectrum's retail store in Vestal, New York, and tried to return my modem. The gentleman working the counter took several minutes to look up the account and kind of read over it. And basically, he told me that he couldn't cancel my account because there was outstanding equipment that I never returned to them, which is utterly and completely false. Number one, why would I want to keep the cable company's crappy, crappy hardware? Number two... Wouldn't I have been billed for that item already or or noticed it laying around my house? Like, uh, I, I just, it kind of blew my mind. So uh, I'll let angry me tell you the story as I'm leaving the Spectrum store. I am free of Spectrum gel. That was a complete sh**. Uh, basically, they tried to say at first that I had a modem that I never returned to them, which is complete horse manure. And uh, it took two phone calls to their customer service number and me getting a little angry before they finally just canceled the account. And now I have a receipt to prove it. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching the video and checking out my uh, review of Greenlight Fiber. So should you switch to Greenlight Fiber from your current provider? If you can get Greenlight, absolutely all day long. They offer speeds from 500 megabits for 50 bucks a month, all the way up to two gigabits per second for $200 a month, which most consumer accounts don't need that, but it's still impressive that it's available. Um, but yes, you should absolutely switch to green light. The uh, latency on the network is better. The speeds are better. They're symmetrical. You can get uh, symmetrical upload and download speeds that cable so far can't provide and rumored to be able to provide in the future with uh, upgrades to the technology that drives cable. But um, I don't know that they'll ever be able to match the latency per se. Maybe write down in the comments if you know more about the upcoming, uh, I think it's called Doxus 4.0. Uh, but yeah, again, thanks for watching the video, guys. Definitely go green light if you get the opportunity. Give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe down below to help the channel out. Thanks a lot.